Welcome once again, Spazites, to another very special Transformers review. I'm very happy to announce that I got a hold, at regular price, a Netflix Soundwave. I'm very excited for this figure. It's so reminiscent of his G1 counterpart. It's just awesome. We also have, I believe they're repaints of Ravage and Laserbeak. We will compare the two because I have the original Ravage and Laserbeak. We will also compare the two sound waves as well. But, oh, I was so excited to get this. I never had the original sound wave as a kid. He was one of my favorite Decepticons. Uh, just because of the cassette tape gimmick, I loved all the tapes. I just thought they were so fascinating and fun. Uh, I do have the masterpiece, which, uh, if you like, uh, I'll, I think I'll, I'll try and put that one, you know, up in the corner at the end of the video, if I remember, uh, so you can go watch my review of the masterpiece sound wave with his, uh, five cassettes, but, uh, yeah, without further ado, I'm gonna do a quick cut and we will free him from his plastic prison, his Netflix box, and uh yeah let's uh let's get into it i i love i i already love this figure i almost don't want to open it this is going this is going for more than double more than 80 dollars on the secondary market right now so i'm hoping to that now that i'm i'm able to find this in stores that that secondary value will start to go down a little just because i hate i hate scalpers they're ruining it for the rest of us just our you know average average everyday collectors who you know, and even some hardcore collectors, some some hardcore collectors don't even get there in time. Those scalpers are, they're they're horrible. Anyway, <laughs> quick cut, and we'll have him out of his packaging. And here we have Soundwave and all of his Soundwavey G One ish glory. I I love this figure. It looks amazing. Uh, it is a a lot less clunky than the original Siege sound wave, which is, uh, it's, it's interesting. We're gonna, we're gonna do a comparison, so not to worry about that, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot, it feels a lot smaller. It's the same height and everything. It feels a lot smaller. It does come with the same weapons that the, uh, the original Siege sound wave has, the weird connecting uh, you know, everything. So there is that still, which is fine. It's not a big deal, but it just looks so much better now like this. <laughs> so I am much happier with this version of, uh, this figure. It's just, it's gorgeous. I can't say enough about this. It just looks amazing. <laughs> I do love that light piping in the eyes that I forgot to point out during my first review. Actually, I don't think I reviewed the original Soundwave, but Sound Blaster has the light piping as well. But it just looks so cool. You can see, you can definitely see that's light piping there. I love that. It's just so cool. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> uh, let's take a look at our tape friends here. Um, they are repainted. Oh, that actually says Japan on it. That's cool. I wonder if the first one does. I don't think it does. Of course it doesn't. It's not Earthrise. And then here's our, our second tape. They are repainted a little. I've got the uh, the first two out here. See, this is the new one. This is the old one. This one actually is designed to look a little bit more like a cassette tape, which is pretty cool. So uh, you do only have one Decepticon logo. Of course, then you've got your, uh, six, your little cassette tape motion thing there. And then on, uh, it looks like... Our laser beak gets a little bit of uh, paint applications to him, but not a whole lot. So he just gets a, a little bit extra color sparkled in there. Nothing new on the back. Um, they didn't really try to make him look like a cassette tape at all, unfortunately. But it still looks cool. I'm not complaining. <laughs> uh, but yeah, okay. So let's uh, look at his sound wave. He's got... Oh, wow. He's got really tight joints. Yeah, those are tight joints. I gotta be careful about that. That's gonna worry me a little bit. Uh, he's got the little flaps, just like our other sound wave. He does have this thing on the back, which is new. 
Uh, he's missing all the kibble from his uh, flight, you know, his jet for his rocket ship mode on the back. Got arms, they go all the way around. He's got the same double jointed elbows that he had before. He also has the same uh, little flip out skiff lasers, and I'm glad they left that in. I really like that, although they did remove the ones on his shoulders, but that's fine. It's probably for the transformation. Uh, he does have waist swivel. He can do the splits, as long as his arms aren't in the way. <laughs> he can bend his knees that far. He's got thigh swivel, full hip hip rotation if you, uh, you know, want that. And then he's got the, uh, does he have? He's got a little bit of ankle tilt. It doesn't tilt as far as some of them, but it is a, a decent amount of tilt for some, some good action poses, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, so he's also got his button here. Boom! hold one of his tape partners, which I don't like putting them in there because unless they fixed it, they get a little stuck. <laughs> but yeah, let's uh, oh, let's put his arms down and we'll get like a 360 view of him next to his uh, Siege counterpart. Let me uh, do the same thing with Siege, put him in the same pose so we can just kind of slowly go over him. So yeah, here is a sound wave next to his Siege counterpart. This Soundwave looks so crisp and clean, whereas this one is definitely battle ravaged. It's seen a lot of action. Uh, other than that, they look like they have the same mold. Like I said, they got rid of the uh, the shoulder blasters for the uh, from the Siege Soundwave on this one, and the whole backpack here. Uh, let's see. They also got rid of. This one's got a red stripe around his wrist, and this one does not. That's actually a little disappointing. I like that little little accent there. Uh, they also got rid of the red stripes on his uh, his gun canister, shoulder his shoulder uh, weapon. And then back here, we've got all of this missing all of that. Now these do appear. Do those flip out? No, that's this. Okay. So that just hides the head, just like the original. Uh, and then, like I said, on the end, they've got this weird square little butt flap here, whereas here they had the cockpit of the spaceship for spaceship mode. Uh, they didn't really change anything else, it looks like. They did, uh, if you look at the legs, the legs are definitely, the back of the legs are definitely a little different there. They got rid of these pegs. And then they replaced them with these uh, sticking out parts here. So, yeah. But yeah, other than that, it looks really good. Oh, I like this little gold gold here. That's cool. I didn't notice that the first time. They also got some uh, cool... Are those stickers? No, that's painted right there on his shoulders. So, yeah, that's really cool. Now, uh, obviously, they transform into completely different things, so we're not really going to bother looking at the alt modes comparison just because there's no need to. It's completely different. We will go ahead and transform him. Um, I will transform both of the cassettes for the next part of the video so that we can compare the laser beaks and ravages to see if they look different very different in uh, their robot mode instead of their alt cassette mode. But yeah, after a quick cut, uh, we will be back with a, uh, a, a micro recorder. <laughs> be right back. And we're back. That was a really quick and easy transformation. I was actually surprised how easy that was. It was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Um, he's fun to transform. Uh, a little clunky. It's... I mean, you just basically transform him into a brick, but it's not a solid brick. He's got all this back kibble for his weapons, and if his weapons aren't there, it just it doesn't even look right. Another thing I'm a little disappointed in is that you can see right through the robot in these gaps, right through the, uh, the alt mode. That's a little disappointing. Other than that, it is a pretty solid, it holds together well, 
Uh, it, it looks good from a distance, definitely, especially from the front. If you can't, if you can't see the back, uh, it's it's an amazing little thing. The tape deck still works, yay! I wish that uh, that went back a little so it could hold two tapes, like the uh, the masterpiece version has a. I believe the masterpiece version has a spring loaded torso, so you can fit multiple tapes in there. If I'm mistaken, then I'm thinking of the uh, the War for Cybertron Soundwave and Blaster from the Universe line a while ago. Or the original... Anyway! <laughs> oh, you see this? It looks good. Yay! Here it is, standing next to the original Soundwave. Uh, so, there you go. Um, perfect size micro recorder fits into your hand. Let's look at the uh, little guys here. First, we'll check out Laserbeak. You can see Laserbeak here. His uh, new colors really pop. I'm really liking it. On the bottom, nothing has changed. Still looks the same. For Ravage, the uh, new cassette, cassette tape makes him look really nice. The fact that he only has the Decepticon logo on one side. You can also, and I never noticed this before, he's got his uh, hip cannons molded into the cassette tape molded into his hips which is really cool i didn't notice that before until just now and then ravage has his jetpack booster weapon thing it flips out that's nice that one i did notice before but i didn't notice until just now about the uh whoops sorry about that molded missile firing rocket whatever <laughs> but yeah this has been another bad review by gizmo spaz <laughs> thanks for watching if you like my videos please leave a comment down below a thumbs up uh if you didn't like it leave a thumbs down any interaction is great it really helps the algorithm i guess <laughs> if you like my video and you're not already please subscribe it's completely free for you to do and would really help me grow my channel i'd really appreciate it and as usual until next time be kind Happy hunting, and goodbye. Don't forget to wash your hands, and if you go out, please wear a mask. I like to sing it. I don't know why, but wear those masks, people. <laughs> Bye.